have a lot to share with you today, and I have a little bit of time to do it. I want to share with you the vision that God gave me. It's a very big vision. But before I do that, I want to tell you a little bit about who I am and where I come from. I was born in Rochester, New York, back in 1975. At the age of seven years old, we moved to Florida, and I became a country boy from the city. And uh, I remained in, in uh, Lake Butler, Florida, which is a small town, until the age of 17 years old, well, 18. And then I went to college in Fort Lauderdale, and I went to school at the Art Institute in Fort Lauderdale for two years, and I became an artist. I was a starving artist. I didn't make much money at it. So in that period of time, before I went to college, I had a mentor, which was my grandfather. He was a great man, and that was the first example of Christ I had ever seen. He was a very godly man, very spiritual man, and he was very, very uh, ambitious, and he had a wealth of information. He was very wise, and I wanted to know the God that he knew. Well, he died when I graduated from high school, and he left my life. But I went on a mission to find out who is this Christ he talks about all the time, who was radiant in his life. He, he, he projected that light that I wanted in my life. So at age 22 years old, I met Jesus Christ for myself in a small Baptist church in Fort Lauderdale. From that day forth, I had been preaching the gospel, and I went from darkness to light. Jesus transformed my life, and he can transform your life too. Well, I'm on a mission now to build his kingdom around the world. And we have been at this for so long, me and my wife and the people that I love in the gospel. And now I'm joining forces with you. God told me to start the ministry in Orlando, Florida, and to start it around the world. That being said, I'll be shooting videos. You'll see me around. I'll be ministering online. And you can always give me feedback if you see anything that you want to talk about. I'm more than happy to talk to you. And uh, we'll go back and forth. And uh, what we teach is healing, prosperity, and deliverance. That means we believe the gospel is, is the full gospel. Jesus wants us to prosper. He wants us to be in health. And he doesn't want us to live poor. He doesn't want us to live sick with diseases in our body. He wants us to have the best, and that's what I believe. Now, I know a lot of people out there, they're hurting. They want somebody to listen to them. They want somebody to pray with them. Well, I'm here to pray with you anytime you need it. I'm only one person, but God is everywhere. And wherever you are and wherever I am, we can connect. And this week's message is on faith. Now, Hebrews 11 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it's the evidence of things not seen. If you read down a little further, it says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, I'm a man of faith. People who are watching, some of you believe God. You have faith in him. You know him by faith. But today's message is about faith, and I'm going to tell you a personal testimony of how I use my faith to activate things in my life to get manifestation. About three years ago, four years ago, in 2008, I went through a terrible devastation in my personal life, and I had no one to turn to. No one was there for me. So what did I do? I did something pretty crazy. I packed all of my bags, which is like three bags, and about five suits, and I didn't even have enough money to get to New York City, but I had a friend who gave me the money to get on the bus. Got on the bus, and I left Florida and went over 1,000 miles to New York City with not, no money in my pocket. I didn't know anyone. I moved to New York. I got off the bus, and it was a breath of fresh air. Not knowing where I was going to stay. I didn't have extra money for, for food and clothing and shelter. I had nothing. But when I took that step of faith, God honored my faithfulness. I went to New York. A young man came out of a Burger King building. He was, he was working there. He came out. He saw me. He invited me to come into Burger King that day, gave me some food to eat, and asked me if I had anywhere to stay. I said, I don't have anywhere to stay. He reached in his pocket. He gave me 
enough money to get around town that day. And he asked me, well, where are you going to stay tonight? I said, I have nowhere to stay tonight. He said, well, you can stay here. He lets me stay into the Burger King where he was working that night. He talked to his friend, and his friend said, take Jimmy tomorrow morning and help him. Take him to the shelter and help him. And that next morning, that night, I stayed in Burger King, my first night in New York City. So I didn't sleep on the street. I stayed inside the building. That next morning, they took me to the shelter. I moved into the shelter. I got three meals a day. I stayed in the shelter for like a good eight weeks. And after that, I moved into a little small apartment with several of the guys. And a couple of months later, I had my own place. I started going to a beautiful church. If I said the church, you know what the church is. And God began to bless me ever since. And I met my wife about eight months later. So I went from nothing to prospering in a new town, a new city, where I knew no one. And my income went from zero dollars to about $4,000 in over two weeks. God gave me an invention and he gave me an idea. He gave me something that I could work with that gave me the ability to make money overnight. That's the God that we serve. He took me from nothing to something instantly. But because I, I stepped out on faith and made it happen, I can only imagine how I stayed in Florida and did nothing. But faith happens when you act on it. You've got to act on faith. You can't sit there and talk about it. Faith is an act. It's, it's the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Substance means it's something you can't see, but it's really there. So God can't bless you until you actually step out and do it before you actually see it. So my faith was actually getting on that bus, getting, going to a new city, and actually getting there and standing outside and saying, God, here I am. I did what you told me to do. Now what? So needless to say, had I stayed, I probably wouldn't be here preaching to you right now. You have to move by faith. You can't just talk about it. If you, if you see a person homeless on the street and you have the money in your pocket to help them, it's not enough to say something. You have to take that money in your pocket and give it to them. God wants doers of the word. And that's what faith is. Faith is action. It's not merely talk. Some people say, well, I believe that I'm, I can be a millionaire. And they're lazy. That's not faith at all. If you believe you'll be a millionaire, go get a job. <laughs> get an idea. Get a business plan together. Right? Go out there and, and find, find a need in the world and fill that need. Don't say you want to be something if you're not willing to work for it. And this is the problem we have in the body of Christ today. Many people say they believe something, but they don't, they don't put the work behind it. They really don't have the faith that they talk about. Belief is not enough, and belief is not faith. There's only half of it. So what am I saying to you? Faith is an action. And when you act on something, that's when we really know you believe it. That's what faith really is. And that's all the time I have for today. And uh, I'd like to pray with you real quick, just to confirm some things. And if the Lord speaks to your heart about you know, about your faith and about what you can do to, to activate your faith, then you need to take action and do it right now. So let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this broadcast, and I thank you for the audience that, that uh, you blessed me to have, and I pray that they move in faith. I come in agreement with them for their prosperity. If they're sick in the body, I'm asking you to heal them right now in Jesus' name. If they need a job, Lord, they're going to have faith. They're going to get up and go look for that job and find it not just talk about it. So as you stretch your hands toward me, I believe God for your miracle today by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it. And uh, until I see you next week, I am Jimmy Williams. You have a fantastic evening. Bye.